Technological advances in the shrimp farming industry have led to the development of the intensive method. This method is ideal for shrimp farms situated in non-tidal areas with low salinity. Here, ponds can be completely drained and dried in between stocking. Generally square or round in shape, intensive pools are relatively small, ranging from one-tenth of a hectare to one hectare. The stocking densities are high, ranging from 60 to 300 shrimp per square meter. Heavy aeration is necessary, and steps must be taken to ensure water quality is kept high. Feeding the shrimp entails the implementation of special diets, often relying on formulated and artificial feeds. Shrimp farms require advanced technical infrastructure and employ highly skilled professionals. The annual yield ranges from 7,000 to 35,000 kilos per hectare per cropping with two to three croppings per year. In some cases, it can reach to 100,000 kilos per hectare. The controlled environment that the intensive method provides is one reason why some shrimp farmers in Ecuador choose it. They get to monitor and control the water quality, the cleanliness, and the diet of the shrimp. The low land area requirement is also an advantage. On the socioeconomic front, intensive shrimp farming requires labor year-round and more labor per unit area than extensive farming. Some have blamed the recent bouts of EMS in Asian shrimp farms on the heavy use of intensive shrimp farming methods. In order to address the issue, farmers have reduced their stocking density in the ponds. Being labor-intensive is also another disadvantage. Using artificial feeds is also wasteful because much of the feed can decay before shrimps consume it. In addition, the advanced technical infrastructure comes at a price. The production cost per kilo of live shrimp can range from four to eight dollars. Intensive shrimp farming also has negative environmental impact, mainly from the waste that is accumulated in the shrimp ponds from the decayed artificial feeds. Maintaining the pond's water requires the use of chemicals that can cause environmental damage. This method of shrimp farming is a hybrid of the extensive and intensive methods. Basically, in farms that practice this method, stocking densities are higher than the extensive methods, but lower than the intensive farms. A density of 10 to 30 animals per square meter with normal pond sizes ranging between 2 and 30 hectares characterizes this type of farming. The natural productivity of the ponds is also relied on for feeding the shrimp, but it also utilizes artificial feeds for supplemental feeding. The water exchange is maintained by regular pumping and aeration to prevent the depletion of oxygen. The annual yields in this method ranges from 500 to 5,000 kilos per hectare per cropping, with two croppings per year. The semi-intensive method is an attempt to hit the middle ground between extensive and intensive methods of shrimp farming. Disease control is one major advantage of this method since reducing the density helps prevent the spread of disease. Here, shrimp farms will enjoy the controlled environment observed in the intensive method while maintaining the low stocking density of the extensive method. The planned layout of the ponds also lends order to the shrimp farming environment. High production costs is the main downside of this method of shrimp farming. Maintaining the ponds will require manpower. Aeration the partial use of artificial feeds, and water maintenance all add up to the higher production costs, which can reach up to $6 per kilogram of live shrimp.